Hey Ravens, welcome to ONW Now. I'm Dima Matthews alongside Sydney Weeks. In today's show, we'll bring you the stories on the spring play, the new crosswalk, and much more. This past week, ONW student NAT classes traveled to the elementary schools to showcase animals we have here at Olathe Northwest and give them a cool experience while still learning. Throughout fourth quarter, the ONW student naturalist travel to several different elementary schools to teach kids about different animals. The animal visits are all about uh, teaching elementary students to appreciate animals, to love animals, how to care for animals, and just more about some of the animals that they might have in their home or in a pet store or something that they might have later on in life. The naturalists show the animals to the kids, but also teach the kids how to take care of and handle the animals. I hope that these elementary students go up and remember these animal visits and that someday might have a lizard or a snake or when they see one outside that they don't run from it but they know something about it. At the end of the day the ONW naturalist as well as the elementary kids have some new stories to tell. I think my favorite part of the animal visits is to see the excitement on my students faces when they come back. This is Grace Jerzak signing off. The Hollywood Rave is back and better than ever. Let's send it to Sarah Miguel and Addison Smith for the second edition of this segment. Hey Ravens, I'm your host, Sarah Miguel. No, I'm your host, Addison Smith. Addison, I don't even want to do this with you Okay, anymore. whatever. Happy late April Fools, Ravens. We're your hosts and we're back at it again with a new Hollywood Rave. New name, same show. Although some of you may not think entertainment news is important, we're here to give you all the details on celebrity gossip and what's trending right now. The brow on fleek? That's right, I'm talking about Anthony Davis's April Fool's prank. The New Orleans Pelican Center convinced NBA fans that he shaved his trademark unibrow. Um, about to make a drastic change in my life. Um, want you guys to be a part of it. Davis played the prank off well and conveniently had the camera fall over right as he began to shave. Unibrow or not, we still love you, Anthony Davis. It's official, love isn't real. After eight years of marriage, power couple Jenna Dewan Tatum and Channing Tatum have called it quits. The couple announced a separation via Twitter and said that they have nothing but love for one another and they will continue to be a family for their daughter Everly. At least we can see where their romance started and watch Step Up to mourn the loss of yet another Hollywood couple. America was graced with a new voice in the grocery industry. <laughs> Mason Ramsey may be yodeling at a store near you soon. Mason has taken the internet by storm with his amazing voice and may be reaching his peak at nine years old, but he will forever remain my favorite singer. That's all for the Hollywood Rave. We're your hosts, Sarah Miguel and Addison Smith. Catch us on the new edition of your favorite segment. This weekend, the ONW Theater Department is putting on a spring play, The Crucible. They've been hard at work rehearsing for the past couple of months and will perform this timeless classic on Friday and Saturday night at 7 p.m. The Crucible is about the Salem witch trials um, on the surface, but uh, when Arthur Miller wrote it, he sort of meant it as an allegory for the McCarthyism of the 50s, so, um, and it sort of stands the test of time, so it's really about oppressed people and people in power and that dynamic all through time. Be sure to come out and support our theater department by seeing this production. Now let's toss it over to sports to see what's happening with Raven Athletics. Hey Region Ravens, welcome back to Game Day Northwest. I'm Angie Torres here with Jake the Snake Curl. Today we have updates on swim and dive, baseball, softball, and soccer. Let's get her done. Congrats to the girls swim and dive team for their successful meet against Shawnee Mission South on Tuesday. Brayton Van Opdorp took fourth in the 200 free and second in the 500 free. Macy Stanton and Alexi Cooper took third and fourth in the 200 IM. Lauren Pugh took first in the 50 free and qualified for state along with her third place in the 100 breast stroke. Jaden Brandstrom grabbed third in the 50 free and second in the 100 free. Sam Zeck took fourth in the 500 free. On the diving side, Emily Copeland and Maddie Fentiman took first and second. Their next meet will be on Friday at Prairie Trail for the Latha Invitational. Last weekend, the softball team took a trip to Lawrence Free State for a battle with the Firebirds and walked away with a 6-1 win. Last night, the Lady Ravens softball team was set to square off with the Late the West, but the game is rescheduled for April 20th due to weather. Their next game will be, against, will be tonight against Leavenworth Pioneers. Good luck, ladies. The Lady Ravens soccer team battled the Shawnee Mission West Vikings on Saturday for third place in the Late the Northwest Varsity Invitational. The Ravens won the game 1-0 on a goal by Mia Hake. 
The Vikings were shut down by goalkeeper Kaylee Kappelman. Three Lady Ravens were named the 2018 Aletha Northwest Varsity Invitational All-Tournament Team. Seniors Kay Kaylee Kappelman and Taylor Weens, along with junior Mia Haik, received the honor. The girls play against the girls play tonight against bitter rival Aletha West at Seaback at 7. On Friday, the baseball team suffered a tough loss to crosstown rival Aletha South 8-7. The boys started out strong with at least 7-1, but struggled in the back half of the game on the mound. Looking forward, they have three games this week against Olathe High, Lawrence High, Shawnee Mission East, and Shawnee Mission Northwest. Good luck, boys. That's all we got for sports today. Good luck to all the teams competing this week. Now back to the desk. Thanks, guys, and just a couple more sports updates. The Raven baseball team beat Lawrence 7-5 last night. Nick Hegarty picked up the win, and Nate Nicewinger had three hits. The boys are back in action tonight as they play a doubleheader against Shawnee Mission East at 4.15 and Shawnee Mission Northwest at 6.30. In other sports news, Mrs. Brandstrom, O&W's very own swimming coach, is in the running for the 2018 Community of Coaches Coach of the Year Award. Brandstrom is one of three Kansas City area female coach finalists for this prestigious award. You can vote for her at communityofcoaches.org slash 2018COY. The school district recently issued a new app to the App Store called Olathe Schools. This is a beneficial app to the kids because it shares trustworthy notifications about school closing as well as the lunch menu and other resources. It also has an option where you can report anonymously to send in tips to the administration about anything you see in school. To get the full tutorial of the new app, head over to the YouTube channel. Last year, Crossing Lone Elm was like playing a game of Crossy Road, weaving in and out of oncoming cars to get to school. But now we have a new, nicely painted crosswalk with a sign just north of College Boulevard on Lone Elm. If you're crossing Lone Elm, please use this crosswalk. And remember, look both ways like Mom taught you. And drivers, please slow down and let students cross. That's all we have for this week's edition of ONW Now Ravens. Make sure to follow us on the Twitter at ONW Now underscore Raven Daily and on Snapchat at ONW Now. For the Raven Daily and the rest of the Convergence team, this has been Demma Matthews and Sydney Weeks. Don't forget to catch tomorrow's episode of the Raven Minute, and we'll see you next week on ONW Now. Stay classy.